Well, each year DAP recognizes everyday heroes in our valley during an annual event that inspires and connects our community. The event isn't going to happen this year because of COVID, but the organization is continuing the tradition by honoring two very special individuals who've led the event for years, helping raise vital funds for DAP. This year's most deserving honorees are Dr. Terry Cadover and Dr. Tom Truey. DAP is honoring them for their years of dedicated service and generous contributions of their passion, their time, and their talents to Desert AIDS Project and the thousands of lives they have touched by years of leadership. Welcome to you both and thank you so much for joining us. We are so happy to honor you both virtually this year. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> thank you. Terry, I'm going to go to you first, and I'm going to ask you, I know that DAP and Everyday Heroes has a very, very special place in your heart. Uh, it means so much to you. Tell us how it all began. Well, seven years ago, Frank Goldstein, whose company, Momentous Events, has produced a number of projects for Desert Aids, came to our staff, approached them with the idea of recognizing people who are not traditionally showcased in our community, but who make a huge impact through the donation of their services or time to people suffering and living with HIV AIDS. And so we decided this was a terrific opportunity and a wonderful idea. And so each year on World AIDS Day, Desert AIDS Project recognizes some of these everyday heroes. Oh, it's such a wonderful annual event, Terry. And tell us, are there some special stories that have really touched you that you can share with us, some that really, really kind of impacted you? That's so hard, Sandy, because every one of our honorees has such an inspirational, touching story about how they got involved or why they got involved in serving the HIV AIDS community. Um, a few examples, uh, Molly Bondis and Will Stiles, who own the Will Stiles clothing store. For years, they've donated merchandise at the end of season to our revival stores, which benefit Desert AIDS Project. They support us. And last year was the 10th anniversary of Will Stiles. So in honor of that, they donated one half million dollars in clothing to our revival stores it was a huge contribution. Willie Ryan, who um, most of us, many of us know as the owner of the popular 849 restaurant, Palm Springs, most people don't know Willie's story. And on his own, since he was 13 years old, Willie struggled to build a life for himself by himself. But throughout all those years, he was very active in the LGBTQ community he donated his time for people living with HIV AIDS, made a huge impact. And now as a successful restaurateur, he continues to serve our community, holding fundraisers for DAP, donating food for our frontline workers in our COVID clinic. Uh, he's, he's always there. And Art Hall, who owns First Gallery Frame Store, Art for Years has done framework for Desert AIDS for free and donated artwork. But what people don't know and about Art's story is in the late 80s, mid 80s, when Desert Regional Hospital had a floor exclusively for AIDS patients, Art would go and visit the patients in the ward because so many of them had no family or their family had deserted them and he didn't want them to be alone. When there was an overflow and the hospital couldn't accommodate the patients, Art took them into his home. He nursed them, he fed them, he cared for them, and he held their hands when they died so they wouldn't be alone. As you can see, each of these stories is different but common in that there are selfless, compassionate, and committed people who have a huge impact in the HIV AIDS community and who are heroes every day. 
Oh, Terry, those are such moving stories. Thank you for sharing those with us. Some I was aware of and some I was not, and they truly are inspiring, inspiring and really prove to all of us that the unsung heroes are so worthy of praise. And Tom, now I'm going to turn to you and ask you, you know, you're all things performing arts. You're our maestro that knows everything about that community. And of course, the performing arts are so sorely missed right now during the pandemic. What do you think it is about music that inspires us so much? Live music is so powerful. And over the years, we've asked six amazing Broadway singers to come to the desert and perform at Everyday Heroes. And every one of them gave us a resounding yes. They said, what can we do to help? What can we sing? And we said, well, you choose the songs but uh, we'd like to open the show with some happy, welcoming songs and maybe close it with some um, thankful and uplifting sort of songs. Well, all six of them came to the desert with their piano players, and they just wowed us with their song selections. And I have to tell you about one in particular. A couple years ago, we honored a lovely lady, Edie Grosbeck, and when she was up giving her acceptance speech, she was talking about her brother, Gene, who had passed away due to AIDS in 1984, at the very beginning of the epidemic. And she told us how important the role of music was in Gene's life, particularly the last year of his life, when he would play all of his favorite songs. And she said one of the songs that he loved was the song For Good from Wicked, uh, the musical Wicked. And uh, that song is about people that come into your life and change you for the better or change you for good. And when she sat down, our entertainer that evening, David Burnham, got up on stage to do his last two songs. And when he got to the final number, he said, I'd like to dedicate this to Edie and her brother, Gene. And unbeknownst to Edie and everyone in the house, David's last song that he'd prepared for us was the song for good. It was the most beautiful coincidence. And when the lights came up, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. And what that proved to us was when you have a great entertainer and a great honoree and the perfect song, and you put them all together, it makes one of those beautiful aha moments that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And going back to your original question, I think that's the power of live music. Yes, and you know, Tom, that that gave me goosebumps. That's one of my favorite songs as well, and I can only imagine the power in the room after that performance and that uh, story that she shared. That's so amazing. So how do you pick your performers, Tom? How do you pick those that will grace our stage and, and share Everyday Heroes? Well, Terry and I have been on the board of the Annenberg Theater for uh, many, many years, two year, many years to account, we still are. And we've had many Broadway singers come to the desert at the Annenberg. And so when we were told about Everyday Heroes, we said, let's go big, uh, you know, go, go big or go home. So we asked these friends who had performed for us on that stage if they would come out and do this. And as I said, everyone agreed. Well, you both are such treasures to our valley. Thank you so much for all you do for Desert AIDS Project. You certainly are our heroes, everyday heroes. We're so happy that we are able to honor you this way virtually. Thank you so much for all of you, all that you do. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much. Stay healthy. Yes, be well and stay healthy.